Alessandro, we are here at PAX West 2019, and you and I just got to play Avengers, yep. the Avengers video game from Crystal Dynamics. Mm -hmm. You saw it at E3, but now you got to play it. Uh, what were your impressions, your, your basic impressions? Um, well, first off, um, I feel like uh, I have a better picture of like, you know, what this game is just all about. Um, mm -hmm. As you recall during our chat during E3, um, you know, I, I had a, I had some difficulties trying to just sort of understand how this was sort of like a Destiny style experience. Mm -hmm. And they focused this time. This presentation was about what this game is. They admitted, like, hey, a lot they of people very clear didn't about quite understand what this game was. Yeah. So now we are going to go through the four pillars of mm -hmm. this game, or whatever. Yeah. The tenets of this game. Sure. Um, we actually basically got to go hands-on with that section they showed off during mm -hmm. E3, the, uh, that entire San Francisco section, so... Um, yeah. uh, it was okay. Yeah, well, it, it was very much like go into one room, beat up some guys, cut scene, change characters, beat up some guys. It was, it was a tutorial, basically. Yeah, it was a tutorial, so, so they said the game will open up more as you play, but mm -hmm. I wasn't super impressed with that opening. Yeah, um, I, I feel like... Um, Maybe the biggest problem I still have with the game is just like uh, it, how it sort of balances this sort of like Batman Arkham style brawling gameplay with sort of like the loot aspect of the game, mm -hmm. the leveling. Uh, one thing they did add uh, comparison to the uh, in comparison to the other E3 uh, sort of presentation was that you could actually see the enemy levels and health bars to I guess make things a little bit more clear that this yeah. is sort of an action RPG game. Yeah. So basically, the general idea of the game yeah. is that you. Get to customize your superheroes by giving them different different uh, wet or what pieces armor yeah. pieces which don't affect their cosmetics. That's only the the outfit which you can buy or mm -hmm. unlock in game. Uh, and basically, you're going to be playing through levels in order to get more gear, new characters, and yeah, min max your character if you're into that. Yeah, um, and uh, we actually got to see like the actual like menu screen with mm -hmm. all the loot. Um, it looks, yeah, uh, looks very, very much like Destiny. <laughs> yeah, I mean like you know you actually have like the character like player like sort of banner mm -hmm. with like you know the sort of power ranking um, your character your player name and um, also the loot has is very much like the, the familiar it's color coded. Color coded. Yeah. Like purple purple is, is good. <laughs> yes, purple is good. You want purple than anything above. So, so I mean essentially it is an action RPG that's co-op. Uh, with Avengers. Characters. With Avengers. Yeah. And you you can pick your mission. So there, there is a, what, what do they call, hero missions? There's and those are solo missions specific for your hero. And there are war zones, war right? Zones, uh, Which are co-op multiplayer ones. Yeah. Uh, the hero missions are basically sort of, a, I guess you can say, a standard like campaign missions, mm -hmm. uh, very much focused on a particular character. So that's how you move the story forward, basically by doing all these heroic missions. Yeah. Then you do the war zones, which are the more online focused, like, you know. Sort but of they also made it very clear you could do that solo. You can do them you solo want. as well. So, so um, it'll scale, and, and they said they want to emphasize that this is a game for everyone. Yes. Because, uh, you know, lots of kids are going to be playing of course. an Avengers video game, so you don't have to min max if you want to do some of the tougher stuff, but they'll help out a lot. Yeah. Um, throughout their presentation, uh, the following presentation after we got to go hands on, they were very clear in trying to sort of. Uh, you know, make certain aspects of the game like you know a lot more like mm -hmm. uh, presentable. Like, uh, uh, I think the big takeaway they had from E3 is that you know, just what what kind of game is this? Like, you know, and, yeah. Um, uh, I feel like I have a better understanding of what that is, but mm -hmm. um, I still uh, I'm still trying to sort of maybe try to reconcile the sort of different like sort of gameplay pillars and like how they yeah. sort of come together. Um, but my biggest concern I think is that a lot of these games tend to have a rocky launch, mm -hmm. so I hope they can beat that. Um, especially because it is Marvel and all these right. superheroes that people know. Um, I want it to be good. I mean, it uh, sounds yeah, like a too. really cool it like, could, It could be really cool. Yeah, but um, again, it's just, I mean, how, how is this going to work? I mean, like, you know, that's yeah. just something that's sort of lingering with me, even after going hands-on with it. Yeah. I remember talking to you about it and just, um, I feel better about it now than I did at E3, but I still, you know, sort of have some hesitation about mm -hmm. it. So. And, and then the other interesting thing with the story is what they shut off. Captain America goes down with the ship, and they're like, "What happened to Captain America?" Yeah. And they're like, "Next slide. Here's all of his different costumes you yeah. can get." And it's like, "All right, so Captain America's there's, there's no, still there's in no it." There's no shock yeah. here. I mean, like, he's Captain America will be in the game along with uh, a bunch of other heroes. Yeah. As well. So they said they'll be adding new heroes, new areas for free. Yep. And uh, we actually got to see uh, Kamala, uh, Miss Marvel, in, in mm -hmm. one of the cutscenes in the, uh, the demo we saw. So uh, she was there briefly, but you know that it was Kamala. So um, I'm pretty sure she might, you know, show up, you know, later on in the game as well. So. All right. Well, let us know what you think of Marvel's Avengers. Uh, and for more PAX coverage, stay tuned to Gamespot.